Here's the raw CG render we'll be working with today, and we'll be using Paint and Stick 2.0 to stick an animated face onto this character inside of After Effects. We're also going to stick burn impacts to the objects which are being hit by lasers. And just to be clear, this video shows the animated textures which are going to be stuck inside of After Effects. Let's get started in Cinema 4D. Uh, so here's our shot in Cinema 4D, and the character doesn't have a face. In order to add the Paint and Stick passes, just go to Plugins, Paint and Stick Auto Setup, and that's going to go through and put these Paint and Stick tags on everything in the scene. Uh, if you don't want to see those, just go over here and go to uh, Hide Paint and Stick Tags, uh, but they need to be on, and this doesn't delete them, it just hides them. So if you want to render everything together, and I'm just going to shut off uh, saving for the moment because I don't actually want to overwrite my frames, uh, just press Render. So this will start your render, and if you go under Layers, you can go to Single Pass, and you'll see here's the Sticky Pass, and here's the ID Pass. These render along with your main render. So import those into After Effects. And inside After Effects, this is how you should set it up. Have your Beauty Pass on top, and then uh, underneath, just have somewhere in your comp have the Sticky Pass and the Sticky ID Pass, and then you can hide those. So now let's stick something to the face. To make this simple, I'm just going to create a new solid. And I'll make this a star, just so it's pretty easily identifiable. And I'm going to put this on the character's face. And for rotation, I'm just going to create an expression, time times 500. And all this does is this uh, star is going to rotate. Maybe we'll make this a little slower for no particular reason. Now in order to stick this down, you have to pre-compose it. So on Windows, Control shift c and on Mac, Command shift c and click Move All Attributes into the new composition. This is going to create a comp at the same resolution as your main comp, which is required to use Paint and Stick's uh, Stick Layer feature. So now if we take a look, this is what we have. It's a 1920 by 1080 comp. And if we go in here, we have our animated layers. So I'll unsolo this, and I'm going to create another new solid. And we'll just call this Paint and Stick. Whoops, let's make this the uh, comp size. Go to Effect, A Scripts and A Plugins, Paint and Stick. And for your sticky pass, choose the one that says Sticky Pass Main Buffer. For your ID Pass, choose the one that says Sticky ID Main Buffer. And for the Live Stick Layer, choose the Stick Comp that you just created. Now just press the Stick Comp button. And if we play this back, you'll notice that the comp is stuck to the character's face, and the comp which we're sticking from is uh, just animating in the scene. So just to solo these, let's uh, just go to a frame where we can see this. This layer right here, the uh, paint and stick layer, that's the stick to the actual character's face. And this is the composition that's still sticking, so all we have to do is turn this one off. And now this stick is live. So if you go into this comp, you're going to notice, you know, the problem that you can't really see what's going on in here. Uh, so let's go back. What I would highly recommend is on the frame which you stuck from, uh, and if you're not sure which that is, just press U and uh, it'll show you where you painted, so hopefully you'll only have one of those. Uh, you can grab your beauty pass, so I'm just going to copy this, go into the stick comp, paste it, do a uh, freeze frame, put it under the bottom, and make it a guide layer. So making it a guide layer makes it so it doesn't render in any comp except for this one, and uh, won't render when you add to the render queue. Uh, so what you can see is what's happening here, you're seeing uh, this texture in relation to the frame which it's projecting on top of. So let's just go back and uh, put these side by side to kind of clarify this. And we'll lock this. So I'm just going to make a new solid right now. <laughs> you can see what happens there. And go to Effect, Paint and Stick. Show my brush palette. And I'll just hide the uh, excess junk. And now I can draw on here, just uh, for example, I'm actually just using my mouse, but uh, bear with me. And you'll notice that that's applying to the comp on the left, and that's going to stick, uh, provided that I make this a hold frame. 
That is uh, Control Alt click on Windows, Command Alt click on Mac. And as I uh, scrub forward here, you'll notice that that face is stuck uh, past the hold frame, not visible before the hold frame. So let's uh, stick down the face that I had shown in the demo. So I'm not going to show you how to animate this because it's not really uh, part of the tutorial, but uh, I'm just going to paste in the uh, layers which I was using inside of this stick comp. Uh, and you'll see what's happening here. This is uh, a face layer. And if I just go inside here, you'll see that uh, this is the animated face. I'll go back to that comp. And you'll notice that because this is in the stick comp, it's now projecting through to the render. So let me play that. So the face is stuck, and you can go into the stick comp and edit those layers, and they'll apply and stick to the character's face out in the main comp. So just for example's sake, I'll go into the uh, face add comp. That's this one. Let me uh, zoom in here so I can show you. So for this eye, I'll just make this a square. Now you'll notice it applies there. For this eye, I'll make it a square. So you can see that the comp is editable and uh, you can just animate away in After Effects and uh, not have to worry about re-rendering when you want to make a texture change. So the last thing I'll show you is how to add burn marks when these lasers uh, hit any of these boxes. So let's take a look through the footage here and uh, just find one that we want to use for example. Uh, let's just use uh, this one. This one's fine. So I'm going to go back to a frame where uh, this laser isn't overlapping because we don't want the uh, texture to apply to this laser. This is actually just geometry. Probably should have rendered that out on a separate layer, but let's not worry about it. So I'm going to uh, paste in this animated burn mark, which I have. And uh, let me just solo this and show you what it looks like. It just grows out from the center and then shimmers a little bit. So I'm going to line this up roughly to where I think this uh, should stick. And uh, I'm going to pre-compose it and I'll call this burn marks stick comp. And one thing I want to make sure is I don't use the suggest composition duration. We want this to be the same resolution and same time as the comp that we're uh, sticking to. So then press OK. So that's good. This is the uh, correct length. And now let's make a new solid. Burn marks paint and stick. Go to effect. Paint and stick. And for your sticky pass, choose the uh, sticky pass, ID pass, choose the ID pass, live stick layer, choose the burn mark stick comp. And again, we're just going to shut this off so uh, we don't actually see it, but rather we see the results of it when it's stuck. Just pressing the stick layer button. All right, so we can see the burn animation is stuck now. So to make this easier, uh, we have this comp locked off and we're gonna go into the burn mark stick comp. Let's drag this over to the right and also lock it off so we can look at both at the same time. And actually, before we do that, let's uh, take a copy of the uh, laser shot, paste it into here, and uh, make it a guide layer so it's not showing, and go to time, freeze frame. And now I'm just going to uh, quickly solo this layer and then uh, scrub through it and find out the frame where the laser actually hits. Uh, so right there, that looks like a good point to animate that on. I'll unsolo that. And now inside the burn mark stick comp, uh, I want to bring the first frame to here. So it actually turns on on this frame. Let's just go back a single frame. And you'll see that it's not there. Then when the laser hits, it is. And now let's just uh, nudge this with the arrow keys to center it up. All right, I think that looks good. And uh, just for example of the flexibility here, let's uh, do a scale up. So uh, over, you know, a couple frames later, I'll set this scale to 74, whatever it was at. And uh, down here, I'm going to shrink this. Maybe something like that. Easy ease, because why not? And let's go back and play that. And here's the final result. You'll notice that when that laser hits, the... Uh, the graphic grows on there, and it goes behind the objects it's supposed to go behind because it goes behind them in the uh, paint and stick ID pass. Let me just show you that here. Uh, it's pretty difficult to see, but uh, this ID pass, if I just put some contrast in here, this is using different mats for each of the objects. 
Uh, so it automatically knows where it should put the paint and that uh, anything using this ID shouldn't be showing over something uh, using this ID. And here's the final result. Thanks for watching. You can find out more at aescripts.com slash paint and stick.